Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the Justice card, so you could be well dealing with something legal um, on the work front or something official, some kind of decision that is going to be made soon. This is presenting some kind of obstacle um, to you and it's making you feel really trapped within that particular situation. Maybe you can't see your way out of it at this particular moment. Things have been moving pretty quickly for you. You've got that gain card over there. So you have been progressing as far as your career goes, uh, but something has come up over here that's presenting some kind of obstacle for you mo to move forward. Now, in the past, you've got that uh, happiness card. So you have had somebody around you that's been pretty supportive, giving you advice, um, telling you how to get through this particular situation. It seems like you have gone, had suffered some kind of loss. So it could be a financial loss. You could have even lost your job as well with this particular card. <coughs> Now, going into the future, it looks like whatever this legal issue was, it's about, you know, it seems like there was some kind of mistake that was made. Something happened. There's also loss over there. That cup is broken over here. So uh, it looks like, you know, this legal decision is about whatever the situation was. So there's some kind of crisis that happened um, with you. It, it was unintentional, uh, and it seems like it's caused, it stirred up a whole lot of problems, and it's got you feeling very trapped within that particular session situation. Now it looks like there's a helping hand coming in, somebody that is going to come and give you some su support or some kind of um, you know, advice coming in for you that's going to allow you to move forward. Uh, this is uh, you know, somebody who's very friendly and is looking after your interests. So it's good to actually listen to this advice that is coming in. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So I'm going to just use the Bright Idea deck for the main read. Okay, so you are very, very uh, motivated to do things. This is the Ace of Cups. It looks like some brand new offer coming in, a brand new beginning coming in for the cycle. Uh, and you have all that tools, all the tools you need, all the motivation you need to actually succeed. And it looks like you do want to reach that uh, point. Maybe you're a little bit you know, obsessing about it as well uh, because it's got a bit of Scorpio energy going through this particular card. You've got your emotions in check though and you are ready, you know, you, you're sorting your goals out really at this particular moment. So this could be uh, a new offer that is going to come in for you here with that Ace of Cups. And like I always say with the Cups cards, it's about education and knowledge. There might be, um, you know, you're getting a teaching role or a mentoring role or you even doing some further study as well with that Ace of Cups. But it's something brand new that's coming in and it's going to be, uh, you know, bring you a lot of happiness as well. You've got the Temperance card over here and the Ten of Swords, the Obsession card here. The Temperance card over here is you being, you know, uh, doing your work, being very uh, hard working, having all the tools, being very, very trained up for this particular job, um, you know, and, um, and focusing on your career quite a bit over here. Uh, this is also about, you know, needing to get some advice as well from people and listening to that advice that comes in over there. So you might need to do some research regarding this particular issue that you're facing. It looks like, all, you know, there's an end to the, this difficult situation because it's the Ten of Swords. So if it was anything legal that you were dealing with or anything official, that all comes to an end. If there was a lot of conflict and problems that you were dealing with, that seems to come to an end as well. You are now going to be focused, uh, you know, a lot more on your work as well. So, you know, seeing things in a different light as well. And answers and solutions coming to you here. You've got that uh, key uh, coming in over there. And it's got the sign of Gemini over here. So a lot of communication coming in over here. So an end of a very, very difficult situation that you've been through. And you are, uh, you know, seeing things maybe from a different uh, perspective. Because you're putting everything under a microscope here. You're looking at things very, very carefully. Considering all those facts. And, uh, you know, things are coming to light over there for you. And, you know, you are going to be able to get some information. You might need to do some research to get on top of things as well. Get that balance back with that temperance card there. 
Now, in the past, it looks like you've had the uh, assessment, an assessment going on for you here. You've got the learning impression card over there. So this is about the, you know, the page of cups over here. So it looks like new information, new learning coming in, but also uh, a, an assessment that you've been through as well. So, uh, you know, people are quite impressed with you because you are managing to multitask. You're doing a lot of things and you're still maintaining your balance. You yourself have been feeling a bit overwhelmed uh, with this Ten of Cups over here. Uh, maybe things have gotten a little out of hand over here, but the solution has come to you. Uh, and, you know, it looks like you're getting on top of things over there. So this is the end of a cycle of feeling very, very overwhelmed or feeling very, very distraught, um, and you're moving on. So you've got two Tens here, that Ten of Swords, so whatever difficulties, whatever problems, if there was any deception or deceitful behavior, all of that coming to an end. And that feeling of being overwhelmed, that is now coming to an end too. So you are feeling quite restless over there. You want to launch into whatever it is, uh, but you're being, uh, you know, held back by somebody telling you that you need to, uh, you know, do a bit more learning or let a little bit more study before you actually launch into things, before you run into it. Because, you know, if you do that, if you uh, go into doing things um, without being trained up or without having enough knowledge, you can end up drowning yourself. So that this is the thing. Um, you know, you want to make a move. You are feeling restless. Um, and, you know, maybe there's an offer that is uh, that you're even considering as well. Uh, with this, four, this is the Four of Cups. Uh, maybe considering that offer, feeling a bit despondent in work that you're doing, feeling a bit bored there, uh, and, you know, you are waiting for that offer to come in. So there's that new offer that came in. You, maybe you want to rush into it, but you are being held back by somebody who's giving you some advice and telling you, you know, you're not quite ready for it just yet. Now, going into the future, you've got the capability, which is the magician card over here. So this is about being very, very busy soon, uh, working, multitasking, communicating, taking charge, and maybe even doing a lot of travel as well. There's a lot of deadlines that you're going to be sorting through. Now, you've got the... Um, Eight of Swords over here, which is the restriction card. This is feeling very, very trapped within that particular job. Very anxious, having to deal with a lot of problems as well and not knowing how to get out of that situation. Um, you know, you need to take that blind blindfold off. So, in other words, you need to do some research to find out whatever it is that you need, whatever information you, it is that you need in order for you to see your way out. You've got that sign of Gemini over here, which is Mercury. So, this is about information, communication. Uh, so, this is what you need to do. Ask people for some advice as well in order for you to see your way through um, you know you're stuck in some kind of maze over there and you do want expansion you do want money to come in with that Jupiter energy there uh, but you need to maybe uh, ask for some advice from somebody on how to get there now, it looks like you're going to be making new beginnings, new starts. Uh, there's a lot of deadlines that you're going to be working to, and maybe some study coming in as well with that book over there. This is the full card. As I say, a lot more freedom coming in as well, and a lot more money coming in. So something brand new coming in. And you are managing to manifest it yourself, because you've got that magician card lying next to it as well. You're hoping that everything that you've been doing is going to be successful with that Empress energy over there. So you've, she's got all these little... Um, um, biscuits or uh, cookies in her tray so you've been working very hard and you're waiting for success to come in right now you feel as though the door is closed and nothing has come uh, for you yet uh, but it looks like you know things are going to start moving this is in your hopes and fears now going to the future and the final outcome you've got the wheel of fortune so a change in luck coming out of feeling of luck and moving into uh, abundance. You just have to have a little bit of patience over here. There's a uh, divine timing at play here. And things are going on behind the scenes that you don't, e you're not even aware of. So you've got that energy of Jupiter over here. So this is expansion, things moving in a very, very positive way as well. And you're getting uh, what you want. So this is about financial independence coming in for you there. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is the nine of pentacles. So money is coming in, recognition coming in. And maybe you being in charge of things as well. So being in a position of leadership as well. And you're going to be able to sit back and enjoy, you know, the fruits of your labor as well over there. Uh, you need to just follow, um, you know, your instinct here. This is the Queen of Swords. Take charge, speak your truth, take command, and keep going. Uh, even though you're proceeding pretty cautiously there, it looks like you're getting to the end of whatever it is, um, and you're leaving the competition behind as well. So maybe some information needs to come to light. So I mean, you might need to do some research over there, but it looks like, you know, you are managing to achieve. And even though you're, you're treading very carefully, it looks like, you know, you're ending... Uh, reaching the end of that and um, you know but you need to
to be very bold and you need to be very, very upfront about what you want. Set your goals and make sure people know where you're coming from as well. So it looks like there's an ending of a difficult cycle over here. Something brand new coming in there with that Ace of Cups. And it's going to mean a brand new beginning as well there for you. So it could be, well, a promotional or even moving on to a new job as well. It looks like it's more a promotion rather than moving on. Uh, it looks like, you know, you need to get some advice to get unstuck from wherever you are at. But you are going to be pretty busy soon and be, you're going to be able to manifest whatever it is that you want. So you've got the seven of spring over here, which is the seven of rods, which is telling you to be assertive, don't bank down from what you believe in, and courageously stand up for yourself. So whatever problems you have, you've got to act with confidence and don't back down from it. Uh, you'll be able to sort these out. So you must be assertive in this particular role that you're taking on. Uh, you've got the justice card over here, so take time to review the details carefully. You will win in the end fair and objective decisions. So there could be some kind of official decision that is pending, even with that ten of swords. It's you know usually about legalities when you're dealing with swords, but it looks like it's going to go in your favor with that justice card over here. And if you're signing new contracts, it looks like that's coming in for you. But there's something legal or there's something official uh, that will have to be taken care of. Um, it looks like you've got the life experience card over here. So let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event, a situation that leads to significant opportunities. So something coming in over here, this is the tower card, to shift the energies. It could be information coming to light, but it's going to put you on a different course, uh, and it's going to present some new opportunities for you and get you unstuck from this particular position. It looks like you might need the tower to actually come in because you've got that eight of swords over there that's restricting you quite a bit. The life uh, experience card or the uh, tower card actually comes in to cut um, things that bind us in a situation. Uh, and, you know, things are going to go in your favor from a legal stance point. You've also got that um, wheel of fortune, so things turning for the better for you, and money is coming in for you. You're making new beginnings, and soon you are going to be able to manifest everything you want, and it looks like there might be some travel as well coming in for you there. So I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.